Hey there, welcome back. It's Josh from The Spiritual Plumber. I thought I'd share my testimony with you. That way you can get a little better idea about me. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Give me a like. So from one to the age of seven, I had a bunch of accidents. One major one. Split my head open in a hospital, a bunch of stitches. At the age of seven, my brother passed away at the age of two. My parents and I were in a tailspin. Somehow we ended up landing in church. And the church years were great. You know, and I don't want to bore you with that. So I'll skip ahead a little bit from... So from seven, after my brother passed away, to the age of 14, we was in the church, and it was good, and it was going all right. Uh, and at the age of 14, I told my parents I no longer wanted to go to church any longer. And you could try to make me, but I promise you, I'll make it miserable. And it was a fight for a while. And eventually, my dad and I we just didn't go to church anymore. And then shortly afterwards, my mom didn't go to church. And looking back at it now, I think truly that's when our family started falling apart. And from 14 to 37, I got on the wild side. Uh, I was into drugs and alcohol in and out of jail, rehab, counseling, anger management, uh, relationships were all screwed up, my child support, my relationship with my daughter was all screwed up. I would say every once in a while when I get messed up, you know, if God is real and he wants me to go to church, he's going to send a pastor to my house in blue jeans and a t-shirt, driving a four-door car, and he's got to have kids with him, and his church has to have a bell in it. And I'd say it over and over and over. Every once in a while when I get, you know, messed up and, you know, and, and seven years ago, I'm sorry, eight years ago, the pastor shows up at my house. He comes up in the driveway. He kids out. And I said, but can I help you? He said, yeah, I come here and invite you to church. And I said, I don't want to hear about it. It's going down the road. You know, we live on a dead end road. And he's like, well, our sons and I were praying about this before we came up here. And this is where God sent us. And I said, well, you was probably at the neighbor's house or. Uh, checking everybody else's door, knocking on them. And he said, no, my boys and I, we prayed. And we came here. And I looked around him, and I happened to notice his kid was in there. And I was sitting there looking at this guy's driving a four-door car. He's in blue jeans and a T-shirt. I said, sir, I got one other thing to ask you. Does your church have a bell in it? He said, yeah, it does. And, and I just got heartbroken. My I didn't know what to say. I don't really remember the guy leaving. It was just so heartbreaking and, and knowing that God is coming after me. You know, kind of made me feel like I was going to die or something bad was going to happen to me. And I didn't go to church right the next Sunday or that Wednesday. I fought it for a while. And my wife would say to me every once in a while, you know, I've been with you for 12 years. And I hear you say that when you get messed up. If God is real. He's going to send it a pastor to your house. Well, Josh, he sent that pastor here. Well, what are you going to do about it? So, you know, I, I gave in, started going to church. And, you know, I think about 1 Peter 1.18, that God paid a ransom with the blood of Jesus to save me. So to answer some questions out there, is God real? With my testimony, to me, yes, he is real. He is alive and he is real. And if you ask and you search, he'll let you know that he's real for you all as well. Have a blessed day and I'll see you around. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up.